This is Between the Slices, your one-stop shop for sandwich talk. We're here somewhere in Delaware, not sure exactly where, but I'm here to try the Kentucky Fried Chicken Double Down quote-unquote sandwich. I'm very afraid uh, about this sandwich because it defies everything I believe in about sandwiches. Uh, first rule of sandwich, bread. This does not have that. So I'm very concerned. What it is is apparently two slices of breaded chicken and between those are melted cheese and bacon. So it, it sounds terrifying, but I'm here for you guys you know, to try it out. What can I get you? Can I have the double down? It's gonna take six minutes to cook. Uh, all right, that's that's fine by me. I am outside now. I went through the drive-thru because I thought it would look cool. But I got so excited about the sandwich, or what KFC is calling a sandwich, that I had to go and just get out of my car, the mobile food lab, and try it right now. So here it is. This is what is called the Double Down. They told me that it was going to be six minutes to make, and then it ended up being 30 seconds. So I suspect what they did is they just took all the ingredients and just like made it special for me. So they, I could just get out of their hair and stop filming, you know, myself in their drive-through. There is no bread. Uh, no bread is apparent in this so-called sandwich. And um, what it is is just two things of chicken that are serving as the bread-ish substance. And then there's uh, some slices of cheese. And then there's a viscous cheese. I don't know if that's cheese or if that's like ranch dressing or something. It's like a cheese ranch dressing combination and then there's some bacon that looks like it's been sitting around for a while. Here we go. If all the ingredients were good, this would be an okay sandwich. Even though it has no bread. But everything sucks. Like all the ingredients are bad. Um, which is why it's bad. But like, it's not greasy. Which I thought I thought that the chicken crust would be greasy and that would be you know, that would be difficult because the original purpose of the sandwich is that you can carry it in one hand while doing lots of gesticulations and other things with the other hand. And so, on that level, it does, it does not fail. It, it, it's a success, but where it does fail is that, like, this weird viscous cheese-like substance along with the uh, slices of, like, chemically enhanced American white cheese and the pithy strips of bacon. Those are all the bad things about it. If like another chain made this with superior ingredients, you know, maybe it would be more edible and maybe not the worst thing in the world. The whole concept is obviously ridiculous and it's a marketing gimmick. And so I want to say that, but you know, they could have made a marketing gimmick that tasted a little bit better than this. This is, this is a sad day for sandwich, I think. I'll be back next week with maybe something a little more tasty. Until then, Stay hungry, Jumbos. Stay healthy. Don't eat this.